This is the Nimitz UFO footage, also called Fleur or Tic Tac. It's less interesting looking than the rotating gimbal footage, Rotate. but it gets a lot of interest because of the testimony of Commander David Fravor, who describes a bizarre encounter with a 40-foot Tic Tac shaped craft that ran rings around him before shooting off at hypersonic speeds. This video is not of that incident. It was shot shortly later by a different pilot in the same group. But what does it show? To understand the footage, you've got to know that there's actually two cameras being used, and the video switches between them, as well as switching zoom levels. It starts out in infrared mode, where white is hot, and we can see a shimmering heat source. 18 seconds in, they switch to the TV camera, which is just visible light. We can just see a blurry shape in the distance. At 41 seconds, it switches back to infrared, and we'll discuss that later, but for now I'm going to focus on the TV footage, the visible light image. Here we see a dark blob, wider than it is high, and initially a little like a tic-tac or caplet shape. But over 20 seconds, it gets larger as the jet gets closer, and the shape shifts a bit, almost as if it's rotating about the vertical axis. It becomes a little more peanut-shaped, and a kind of tail seems to appear on the left. So what is it? I think it's a distant plane, flying at a bit of an angle to the jet and slightly above it. We know the camera's angled up at around 5 degrees at the start. But how can a plane look like a black blob? Well, we know planes can look very dark when backlit. And we know things tend to look like blobs when they're far away, especially in low resolution blurry footage. So let's take a plane and see what it looks like backlit in low resolution blurry footage. Here's a typical passenger jet, a Boeing 767. If it's backlit, it would look more like this. Of course, what we're seeing is out of focus, so a bit more like this. And not only is it out of focus, but it's also low resolution, so let's do that too. Finally, there's a bunch of noise in the video. Let's have a look at that. So now we've got a simulated visible light image of a distant jet at various angles. We can see that from this angle, it looks a bit like the UFO at the start of the TV segment. And from this angle, it looks a bit like it does at the end of the segment, with a more peanut-like shape and the hint of a tail to the left. So if this is all we had to go by, I'd say this fits pretty well. So maybe the Nimitz video is just a distant passenger plane. But what about the infrared footage? That's showing the heat from the engines. And we saw in the Chilean Navy UFO case that the glare from the engines can hide the shape of the plane. At the start of the video, the Nimitz infrared glare doesn't have a good shape, as the plane is so far away. Later we see more of a horizontal shape, similar to the black shape in the TV footage, but smaller. By the way, this case, the Chilean Navy UFO, is a great example of how experts get things wrong. The pilots thought they were looking at something small and close, but it was just a large passenger plane over 80 miles away. They then spent two years investigating it, and eventually declared it a genuine unidentified, only to have it identified a week later by people on the internet, including me. Here's some infrared video of a 767, shot from the front, getting closer to the camera. Like in the Nimitz video, at first it just looks like a dot of light, but as it gets closer we get more of a horizontal shape as the engines separate. So it certainly could be the same thing in the Nimitz video. Unfortunately, they've cranked up the sharpening in this video, giving it a strong aura like in the gimbal video. What are the sudden movements of the UFO? They appear to all just be camera movements. There's a rotation when the camera does a gimbal lock correction around 3 degrees, and the other movements all coincide with changes in zoom. Finally, the camera does a zoom change and just does not lock back onto the object, and it drifts off as it's not being tracked. Final zoom change gives the illusion that it's moving off really fast, but if you correct for zoom, you see that it's actually not. Is it solved? No, not 100%. The fit is pretty good, but not exact. But this was just the first plane I tried. Maybe a different plane or a different camera setting will work better. But I think it shows that a distant plane is a very real possibility that should probably be at the top of the list. And again, this isn't the same thing that Commander Fravor saw. So this just being a plane doesn't mean that he didn't see a giant jittery tic-tac shaped craft. I don't know what he saw, but I know what this video looks like. It looks like a plane.